Welcome back to Ernest Lifestyle. Well, those who are new here, I'm Khushi and I make videos on motivation, baby care and minimalist lifestyle. So do subscribe for new videos every week. Now, I was actually decluttering and organizing my medicine cabinet and I, you know, just thought why not make a video about it so that a lot of people out there would be benefited and you guys will uh, find it easier to organize your cabinets. So uh, before I get into the whole procedure of what I did and I show you how I did it, I have a few quick tips uh, on where you should store medicines and where you should not keep them so that you know you stay healthy and you don't uh, attract the negative energy. So uh, I'll first like to tell you that we often have habit of keeping medicines near our beds like you know bedside table or in the bed uh, bedroom somewhere in the cabinet so that it's easily accessible. Well, uh, bedroom is the place for you to be peaceful and calm and rest and you know not uh, think about the problems you are having health wise or not think about the medications that you have to take. You can uh, set an alarm or you know keep a note somewhere so that you uh, do not forget to take medicines because obviously it's equally important. But never store medicines in your bedroom. You don't need to uh, remind yourself every morning and every night that you are on certain medications. The second thing is never store medicines in your kitchen or in your dining area. Kitchen is the place where you're supposed to cook healthy food and you know we eat food there. All our uh, grains and fruits and vegetables, it's all stored there. And uh, when you store medicines there, it is not a very positive energy and positive environment. In, in Hindi or in India we say Annapurna. So wherever we make food, we call it Annapurna. We are cooking there and we want that place to be healthy. Uh, positive and calm you know it, it should be peaceful so don't medicines much store kije. same goes with the dining table area because dining table pe bhi, you eat as a family you're supposed to eat there uh, eat healthy food which is supposed to keep you healthy fit and it it is supposed to keep you happy it's not a place where you are supposed to think you know that okay I have to take certain medication or I'm not well I am on uh, so and so medicines and uh, you know all those negative thoughts shouldn't come when you're eating a good happy meal with your family. Third thing is you should always keep your medicines in a closed cupboard. They should not be out on the display because medicine is not something that you want to display on a regular basis. We often feel that you know whatever things we see in our house on a regular basis our mindset or our energy it happens to be in sync with what we see and what we read and you know what we are passing by in our home. So if you keep medicines on display, I don't think it's a very good feeling. So uh, better to always keep them in a closed cupboard. So make sure you keep them at a place where they're easily accessible for every member of the house. At the same time, it's not easily accessible for the pets or uh, kids or the you know younger children of the house. Another reason why you should keep your medicines in a closed uh, cabinet is because if you see every medicine, almost all of them have this caution written that you need to store them in a cool and dry place and away from direct sunlight. So what best can be than a closed ca uh, cabinet? The first thing that you would want to do is Collect all the medicines in one place before you begin decluttering and organizing. Treat it like one category. Do not mix all the medicines of different people in your home, but keeping them all in front of you will give you a clear visibility. I have videos on minimalism and decluttering. Do check them out. Since we are a family of three, we have all the medicines here on the table. Nishant and I are checking each medicine for expiry date and keeping it separately. You should do this at least twice a year. We had not done this in last 10 months or so, hence our pile is a mess. Also, discarding medicines helps you know the common medicines that you don't have so that you can restock them. It's always good to have few pills for headache, nausea, common cold, etc. I would like to tell you, if you had some serious health issue in the past and you are now healed completely, it's better to discard leftover medicines. Do not keep the medicines that remind you of not so happy times. I was admitted to hospital four years ago for around a month and I was on medication for more than two and a half years, as recent as last year. After my medication stopped, 
I discarded the remaining tablets with the hope that I would never have to use them again. Well, here both of us are discarding a lot of medicines from last year during my pregnancy time and those which are expired. We took nearly half an hour or so to go through each of them. Finally, I put all the waste medicines in a garbage bag to dispose it off properly. It's important that you throw away the medicines carefully away from pets and children at home. Now, for organization, I would suggest to use a box if possible. This Milton box is really spacious and quite handy. We have been using it for almost two years now. You can use any normal plastic box as well. I am now keeping medicines back one by one. When you start organizing, keep a separate box for kids, parents, grandparents and other members of the family. This way, the medicines won't get mixed and it will be easier to manage. Also, keep all the medicines in one place so that every person of the house will know where to look for a particular medicine in case of emergency. Now, of course, there is exception if someone is really sick and can't move much, so they would definitely need medicines handy. What I decided to do was keep all the medicines in this regular Milton medicine box and keep few of my daily medicines in the open yellow box. I will be using this plastic box to keep all my liquid medicines. Liquid medicines often leak or leave marks on the surface and this will help to keep the surface clean. I am keeping Varu's medicine separately. We have a stock of his iron and D3 supplements which we have to continue for another 2-3 months and there are his other regular common meds. I am using a tray so that I can store his liquid medicines also in the same place. Another important tip is to write the daily medicines, their dosage and frequency on a piece of paper and stick it or keep it along with medicines, especially for kids and elders at home. This will be very helpful for any other family member or caregiver to give them correct medicine and dosage in your absence. This is what I have done for Varu here. These are Varu's medicines. In this box are the common medicines, strepsils, ointment, balm, etc. Liquid bottles are in here. The open basket contains all my daily medicines as per the need. Now let's talk about storage. I keep all our medicines in these three boxes of our TV unit in the living room. They are easy to access, properly closed and at a decent height. Once my baby's supplements are over, I will merge first and third shelf together like this. So finally the top shelf will be empty. If you are using a single large cabinet, you can also use dividers to utilize the vertical space for more storage. They are easily available on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description box. Guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also share this video with your friends and family so that they'll uh, find it useful for their decluttering journey of the medicine cabinets. And uh, please do let me know in the comment section where do you store your medicines and if you know any additional hacks for medicine storage. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you'll not miss any new video from my end. See you soon. Stay healthy, stay happy and stay blessed.